A fiery horse for the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Ohio Silver, the Lone Ranger. building of the first railroad in the western United States was a tremendous undertaking. In addition to engineering problems, the men in charge of construction were faced with the threat of hostile Indians and outlaws. Their great task might never have been completed if it were not for the help they received from the masked rider of the plains. Astride his great horse Silver, he rode ahead of the construction gangs, clearing the way for progress. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young and adventure lay at the end of every trail. The Lone Ranger rides again. Our story opens at the Perry Ranch near Boiling Rock. Ray Holbrook was talking with Clem Perry's daughter, Jane. Tain't likely I'll be getting to see you for the next few weeks, Jane. Oh, Ray, are you going away from Boiling Rock? Tain't that, Janie. I'm going to be so all fired busy. I brought some powerful important news for you tonight. You did? What's that about important news? Oh, good evening, Mr. Perry. Oh, you've been eavesdropping again. Clem, take eavesdropping when there's news around here. I calculate to hear it. Go on now, Ray. What's this news? Sakes of life, I don't get to hear no news at all no more. Well, it's about the bridge we're building. Thunderation, is that all? Oh, Pa. Uh, bridge my eye. But that bridge is going to be a mighty important thing, sir. Don't you realize it'll mean the trains from the east can ride right through here instead of circling the canyon? Who cares? I never had no use for that railroading outfit since they bought up old Silas Marsden land instead of mine to run the tracks over. Plague take the railroad. Plague take the bridge. <laughs> Boy, you sure beat all. Well, what's the news? You aim to keep me up half the night waiting to hear it? Go on. Talk or get. <laughs> Good thing folks understand you, Mr. Perry, or they think you was high-tempered. <laughs> well, I'm in charge of the bridge from now on. You? Oh, Ray, are you really? That's right. You? <laughs> Them Easterners that put up the cash for the bridge must be addle-headed or something. You in charge. Well, that settles the bridge. I don't look for it to be done for many a long day now. Well, I do. How'd they come to put you in charge, Ray? I thought Mr. Stevens was handling the men. That's just it, Jean. Mr. Stevens maybe is a better engineer than I am, but he don't know this country of the folks that live here. You lived here all your life, except when you went east to study. You see, I savvy the men as well as the Indians. I guess the men in charge thought I might get more work done. And where's Mr. Stevens? Oh, he's left. He took it pretty hard. So he should. The I.D. A doggone young upstart like you getting the job of a man like Mr. Stevens. <laughs> I said plague take the bridge, but I reckon the plague don't need to. You got it instead. I'm going to bed. Good night. Good night, Mr. Perry. <laughs> Gosh, your poor sure a fire eater. He'll never change, Ray. I'm glad you don't take anything he says serious. You really think he has any use for me? Of course he has. 
The more he likes folks, the more he has to say about them. Well, I sure hope so, Jane, because, well, I... What is it, Ray? Well, I sort of hope that someday, when I'd made a mark for myself, you might sort of listen to, to a proposal. Oh, oh Ray. It's about time! Oh, oh Ray, I... <laughs> Don't pay any attention, honey. I understand your paws well as you do. Ray, if you do finish the bridge, what'll it mean? Well, you see, Jane, the construction company has a contract with the railroad people. If the bridge is done on time, they stand to make a lot of money. Yes. And I'll stand to get a first-class job. That's why I won't be able to see much of you from now on. We're going to start tomorrow, going hard as the dickens to finish the job. You finish that bridge, Ray. That's the big thing right now. Hey, sister! Sister! Oh, oh hello, Ray. Well, Jackie, sort of late for a kid your age to be outdoors. But there's news. Gosh, I'm glad you're here, Ray. What is your news? Well, Bill rode in town just now, and, and he went to see the sheriff and told him all about it. There's a lot of redskins about 40 miles east of here, and they're starting on the warpath. Redskins? Yeah, and the railroad's the thing that started it all. Well, how's that? You know that big engine standing on the tracks near El Dorado? Sure, waiting till the bridge is done. Then it's to be the first to cross the bridge. Yeah, well, the engines have the idea. It's a monster of some sort. They're scared of it. They fired some arrows at it and didn't hurt it. They're sending some signals for engines from all over. Oh, confound. That's likely to make some trouble. Will it, Ray? Here, Paul must be in bed or he'd be out here with a plenty to say about it. The sheriff has sent word for the army troops. He's afraid there'll be a real uprising before long. I'd better go to the sheriff and see what he has to say about it. Yes, Ray, and, and if it's going to be serious... Well, I'll go There's right... There's someone right in here now. Oh, oh, oh. That sounds like the sheriff. Hey there, Ray. I'm glad you're here. I thought I'd find you calling on Miss Jane. Sheriff, what's this about Redskins uprising? There'll be the dickens to pay about this part of the country if those Redskins rise up on the warpath, Ray. I know there will. Staying hard a saloon was robbed a couple of nights ago. It was? A couple of barrels of liquor stole. But that's a long ways from here, Sheriff. Sure, but the liquor's a longer ways by now. Words come that those Redskins near El Dorado are guzzling liquor. Oh. Well, that'll make them impossible to handle. Don't I know it. Listen, Ray, I understand the Stevens is left. Yeah. You're in charge here now. Well, of the bridge, yeah. Well, that gives you something to say about the railroad, too. You get them folks to take that choo-choo back east where it come from. But I can't do that. And why not? It's waiting to cross the bridge. Jackie, you better come back in this house. I'm just looking at the sheriff's horse. Is that all? But it's past your bedtime. I'll be right in, Jane. I don't care what the train's waiting for. Get it back east before them redskins get scared on the warpath. That's the main thing they're scared of, that choo-choo with the fire and smoke and all. Wonder who? Frank, let me go! Let me go! Jackie! What's happened? Weather! Let me go! Let me go! Let me go! They got Jackie. Stop that horse! I'll get him. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. You might hit Jackie. What's the matter? What did Jackie yell for? Oh, thought someone carried Jack away. Get after him, Sheriff. Get up there. They stole Jackie. They carried him away. Oh, Jackie! Jackie! My son, get him! <laughs> Fetch him back! Don't stand there and do something! <laughs> Miles to the east, two men rode through the night. Oh, oh, there's silver robot. Oh, look down. Oh, oh. 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 there, it's to Look down on that valley. Huh? That's where engine me. And look how many redskins there are. Something's due to happen around here. That, that war dance. They're getting ready for all kinds of trouble. That story we heard about the Indians getting hold of liquor must have been true. That's right. They wouldn't have put on their war paint otherwise. The Indians have lived in peace around here too long. Ah, uh, we're going closer and see what we can learn about those redskins. If they rise up here, the town of El Dorado will fall in no time. No. Maybe it's better you go to town. Tonto go to Injun. All right, Kimosabe. Learn what you can about them, and I'll meet you later. Get them up, Scout. Come on, Silver. Dorado was 40 miles east of the canyon that was being bridged and near the scene of the Indian uprising. In the cafe there, we hear the bartender saying, I'd give my teeth to find out who stole their liquor from us here. That rat has got to the engine somehow. 
There'll be the dickens of a time. You've got some more liquor, haven't you, barkeep? Got a little for special customers, Mr. Stevens, like you. Have one yourself. Thanks. Don't mind if I do. Uh, how's things in the bridge going? Ain't you a long ways from your job? I'm not in charge of the bridge now. Ain't I? No. Heading back east where you come from, huh? I may stick around El Dorado for a while. You know, Mr. Stevens, I heard plenty of stories about you. Well? Some of them ain't so nice to listen to. If they're true, I reckon I may as well tell you. And tell you I'd as soon you took your liquor trade somewhere else. The stories ain't true. You better put a stop to them. Well, what are the stories? There's talk that you is trying to hinder the work on the bridge. Why should I do that? It ain't for me to guess. Might be that some rival outfit of bridge builders was sort of put out when one organization got the job and would have liked to see the bridge not built on time. Rot. Where'd you hear such a story? I ain't saying where I heard it. I heard it, and I thought I'd tell you. The man that says I tried to spoil that bridge is what? A, a masked man. Now, see here, stranger. Don't Stevens, the law wants you. You're the man who... I'm the one who rode away from that window in the hunter's cabin, and you met the men who paid you to delay the bridge. You want to go past? I'll take that gun. Now, now, don't shoot this place up, stranger. There's going to be no gunplay here, Barkeep. Here, take this man's gun. You can't prove we'll it. We'll see I... about proof later on. Right now, the men in this town had better get ready for a fight. Someone took liquor to the Indians, and they're going on the war path. <laughs> Me want talk to you. Fellow, what is it? Me, here in can talk. Feller named Stephen give him liquor. That ain't so. Are you the coyote that stole that liquor from here? No, no, listen to me. A man that'll give the redskins liquor. You can't prove that I... Me bring friend Thundercloud here. That man bad. Chief Thundercloud. All brave on warpath. Not listen to Chief now. Brave, afraid of train. That man talk bad things. Boys, boys, you can't stand here and let a masked man and a couple savages... Hold on, Stevens. Thundercloud is the best redskin that's ever been in these parts. I'll take his word above yours. Him tell Indian tear village apart. Go west, capture all white men. Him got plenty bad white men to help him. Who are your friends, Stevens? Who's helping you in your schemes? You got nothing to prove against me. You can't hold me. I hey, t- boys, the Indians, get your guns. I hear them. They're coming. A couple of houses already are fired. They'll get the whole town. Get your guns. Come on, we got to fight them. We ain't a chance. You won't hold me. Him get him loose. Let him go, Sutter. Right now, there's an Indian attack. Him spread out. The Indians swarmed into the cafe in such numbers that all resistance was swept aside. Before long, El Dorado was in flames and the savages carried more liquor from the cafe as they left. Stevens, in the excitement, slipped from the Lone Ranger and got away. Meanwhile, Chief Thundercloud told the masked man what Stevens had said. In the midst of the battle, the masked man leaped to his saddle and shouted, hey! The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Now, on with our story. 
After leaving El Dorado, the masked man raced toward the west, where Ray Holbrook supervised the construction of the bridge. All night and part of the next day, he rode the great horse Silver at top speed. Finally, he reached the sheriff's office at Boiling Rock. Oh, oh, Mr. Romo. Romo. Grab that masked man. Stand back. I said to grab him. Maybe he knows what's happened to Jackie. Who? There's been a young and carried away. Take off that mask and hand over them shoot knives. That's all right, Sheriff. Stand back. Uh, now, you see here, stranger. Who's in charge of the bridge? I am. Then get to work on it. But you. Come on. Hand me down. You stand There's right no where you are. There's no time to argue now. Stand back. Let me down. Let me down. I'll drill the first hand that grips the gun. Keep back. Come on, Silver. See here, stranger. You'll tell me all this to tell about this boy that was carried away. Meanwhile, we'll get to that bridge and get to work. That's got to be done as soon as possible. Come on, Silver. But you can't take Listen me. Listen to me. There are savages on the warpath. They'll head this way and sweep all resistance before them. There aren't enough men to stop them. If you get that bridge done, the people here can cross the canyon to the other side, to the safety that's beyond. But we got to have supplies. There's supplies in town we need, and we need more men. We'll get them, and I'll need some things from your camp. There's supplies coming to wagon to town. I'll need them to work on the bridge. The bridge must be finished. It can't be. There's too much needed. We I can't... know the difficulties. We can get word to town. Who? And when the supplies are brought, we'll get them from town to the bridge. Come on, Silver! The following night, Tonto, his friend, Chief Thundercloud, and several white men talked in their camp a few miles east of El Dorado. No use getting the idea that those redskins will fall back now. No. As soon as they get done with ransacking El Dorado, they'll be moving west some more. Yeah, all we can do then is to keep retreating. Just so. Them capture plenty of other towns. That's what they will, and Dad read it. It's all a fall of that critter Stephen. Mm, not right. They'll likely fight us all the way to the big canyon, and then when we can't retreat no more, massacre us. What's that? Oh, that's just the folks from town, Chief Thundercloud. Uh. They got some of their stuff loaded into the wagon so they can move on to the west. Th that's your horse, Injun. Uh, Scout, what, what matter? <coughs> what, what is a horse, anyhow? They're a white horse. That's Silver. Here's Silver. Where's your masked friend? Where's the rider of that horse? Me not know. Here's Silver, fella. Oh, fella. Take it oh. easy, horse. Oh, take the life. Oh. What a horse that one is. Here. There's a note fastened to the saddle. Let me see it. Uh, let's see what the note says. No. Note for Tonto. Me read it. Friend, send note with Silver. Friend, not hurt. Oh, him all right. Me see what note say. There won't be no stopping them redskins now. The more towns they capture, the more liquor they'll get, and the worse they'll get. I tell you, boys, the only thing we can do is to head west to the canyon and make a stand there. <laughs> The next morning, the Indians began their raids again and pressed on toward the west. The ranchers and townspeople had to flee from their homes before the advancing war party. When they reached the town of Alfred, ten miles to the west of El Dorado, they made a stand. But more Indians joined the uprising and Alfred fell. Then the people of Alfred joined those of El Dorado in the retreat toward the west. Hey, don't stop him. Get up there. Get up there. We'll make a stand in Mills Corner. What's on those good? There's too many of them savages. We're going to make a stand, though. Pass the word. When you get to Mills Corner, throw off the wagon. And we'll try and fight them. Late the next afternoon, Jane and her father rushed to the bridge with startling news for Ray. Jane, Jane, what are you doing here? Oh, Ray. Ray, I had to come. I had a message about Jackie. Well, what about him? You've got to stop work on the bridge right now. Stop work on the bridge? You heard what she said. That ornery coyote Stevens has shown his hand at last. What do you mean? Ray, the men who captured Jackie were sent by Mr. Stevens. Stevens? Yes, yes, don't you say that? He, he doesn't want this bridge to be done. He's jealous of you. That's why he took Jackie. If he's got your brother, I'll but kill he him. Hasn't. He just sent word that he knew where Jackie was. He could get him freed if the bridge was torn down. We can't tear it You've down. You've got to tear down what's done and stop work on it. Send the men away. But, Jane... You heard what she said, Ray. Now go on, do it. Give the order to stop work there. We can't stop. We got extra men working. Four men coming all the time to keep the work going. Just so you can finish it in time and get yourself in solid with the company, huh? No, no, Jane, That's I... That's the reason. You think more of your job than you do about my brother's life. But, Jane, if don't you... If you can't anything about me at all, Ray, you'd stop work on that bridge. This note guarantees that Jackie will be sent back home safe and sound if the work is stopped and the men sent away. Well, I... I'll see what I can do. Why, well, hurry. The work's got to be stopped before sundown. You... You wait right here, Jane. I'll go see the men. Stranger. You better grab them all and get to work there, Ray. We're having a great deal of time. Well, now wait, stranger. Listen to me. Get to work. But I can't. There's a youngster. He's been carried away by some men. If we go on with this bridge... To he'll... work. This bridge has got to be done. See here. You can't come in and take charge of this I'm job. I'm taking charge. 
But I'll give the orders to the men. I'll tell them to stop work right now. I won't... You get to work. We have some friends here now, Ray. Men who are going to help us. Who's this? A friend of mine. Me, fetch Thundercloud. He brought help with him, Ray. There's going to be no stopping of work here until the bridges across that canyon and the tracks are laid. But don't you see, Spencer, I... To work. This man Stevens is insane with jealousy. We're not letting an insane man stop us. Well, I won't work. You can't make me. I'm the boss here. I'm in charge. The company put me in charge. No masked man's going to tell me how to run this thing. This bridge is coming down and the work has stopped right now. I'll show you. He got him now. No, it's my girl's brother's in danger. All right, fellow. Uh -huh. Let me go. You Let me go, me. Let me go, I tell you. I'll get you, brother. Oh, 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 look, those engines have captured Ray. No, what's to be done? Don't go to all. I'm going to talk to that masked man myself. He seems to be the one that's in charge there. Wait here, Paul. Here you are, sir, man. We have other men here to help you in a couple of hours. I'm most ready to drop. I've been working so steady. Keep going. Here, I'll give him a hand with that timber. Yep, it goes. Yep. Now. Flash it in place and get those pegs in. Put them timber lay. All right. Look, Ginger, will you listen to me, please? I know about your brother, Jane. But in the name of heaven, stop this work. Tana brought me news in the east. This bridge is going to be finished. Wait, He's safe. What have you done with him? I saw you capture him. Are you in cahoots with Stevens, too? No. Won't you please stop? I, I'll do anything. It's my brother's life. He... I'm sorry, Jane. There's more than just your brother's life at stake right now. You haven't heard the word from the east. Keep going, men. It's shut down. It is quitting time. It isn't quitting time until this bridge is finished. The men toiled on through the night, despite the pleas of Jane and her father. Even Ray joined the workers after the lone ranger had talked with him. Shortly after daybreak, a horseman raced into camp and reined in his mount before the masked man. Whoa, whoa there, whoa, whoa. What's the latest news from the east? Who are you? I'm the one Tom told you to bring the news to. Oh, well, them Redskins are still advancing. They captured Alpert last night, then shoved down to Mills Corners. Then the white folks made a stand for a while, but they was finally driven back. Where are the savages now? They're attacking Red Pine. Just ten miles from here. That's right. Tonto. Uh -huh. Here come. Tonto, the savages are only ten miles away now. Oh. When Red Pine falls, this will be the next stop. Uh -huh. Bridge, most done. Get Chief Thundercloud. Tell him to ride east and give the signal to the train. Tell him. Me tell him now. Danger. The last of the timbers are in place. We've laid the ties so he can dry the wagons over. All right, Ray. Now the tracks. Get those tracks down. Right. Mister. Yes, Jane. Won't you let me talk to you? Very well. You've driven those men, so the bridge is almost done. But it isn't too late to save my brother's life. Jane, the tracks must cross the bridge and connect with the tracks on the other side. But if that's done... Will you take my word for it that your brother won't be harmed? How do you know? Stevens captured them, didn't he? No, but it was many hired. White men. Yes. Those Indians are filled with liquor. They wouldn't know one person from another. All white people are enemies as far as they're concerned. Yes, but... Stevens, his crooked friends, and your brother. That bridge is not finished, every white person this side of the canyon will be massacred. The Indians are driving everyone before them. Don't you understand that? What? When white folks reach this canyon, they'll be trapped. The savages will close in on them, and it'll be the end. The end for you, your father, your brother, and every white settler between here and El Dorado. There, see that wagon? That's the first of the pioneers coming. They're working on the tracks now, mister. All right, Ray. Thundercloud has started with the hill to get the signal. Good enough. Ray. I'll see you later, Jane. Too busy now. You wait right there, eh? Sheriff. Sure. I got a legal paper here ordering you to stop work on that bridge. Where did that come from? Jane's boss told me. Now you get that bridge stopped. Wait. Sheriff, we can't stop. We've got to go You come we with got... me, Sheriff. We'll need that paper later on. But I can't. Come... You... The settlers, trying desperately to keep ahead of the savages, held little hope of life. They knew what would happen when they reached the canyon. In the first wagon of the long train, the driver said, We ain't a chance, Molly. But we'll go as far as we can. When we reach the canyon, we'll have to turn north or south. There's the canyon dead ahead. Come along, Silver! Who's that masked man riding up to meet us? You lead the way! But, but who are you? Across the bridge! Across? You don't mean to say... The bridge is ready to use. Lead your wagons to the other side. We can make a stand there. We can make a stand at the other side. Maybe we can lick them critters yet! The wagons thundered over the bridge and reached the safety of the other side. The Lone Ranger had already led Jane, the sheriff, and Jane's father there. And as the wagons stopped, the masked man talked with Ray. Well, the train should arrive in a little while. 
Are those tracks ready to carry it, Ray? They'll do. You men watch close when that train arrives. See here, Dad Ratcher, stranger. You're running things with a darn high hand. I'll live to see him hung if my boy Jack is hurt. Then I'll do that hanging myself. The train, there it comes. Tunnel arrange men at intervals to send the signal to the engine crew. If only the bridge will hold it. Now, let me explain. I told you, Jane, that those savages would sweep all white people before them. Yes. There was one place where a few white folks could hide in safety. That was in the cars on that train. Oh. Stevens has to be there. So do all these men and your brother, Jack. Then the train is bringing us. We can only hope. And don't you see, Jane? If the bridge wasn't done, none of those folks could have crossed the canyon. They'd have all been trapped. But, Jackie... If I know Stevens' type, he won't go as far as murder. Where'll that train stop? As soon as it's across the bridge. All right, men. You have your orders. Surround that train. Oh, there they are! Throw down your gun. Wait, let me talk. You talk to the judge. Jackie. Sonny, are you all right? I'm all right, Pop. Have you captured those men? We got them, stranger. Is everyone across the bridge? Every last white man and woman that's alive. They're all here now. Good. The engines, there they come. Where's that sheriff with his paper? Here, what in place? This is a court order to destroy the bridge, isn't it? It sure is. Your witness here that the bridge is finished on this day at noon. All right, all right, I'll witness it, but we got to fight them rich. They're coming closer. The bridge is done as contracted. Ray is finishing work on schedule. If the laws of this state order the bridge destroyed to save the people from attack, the state has to rebuild the bridge. The state will do it, but the we... The powder don't... planted. Fire the blast! There she goes! That's the last of the bridge. Oh, gosh, after all that work. You did your job, Ray. Now you'll have another job. You'll have to build another bridge. On order for the state which destroyed this one. The, the Redskins, they can't cross the canyon. No, and when they've gotten over the fury that liquor roused them to... See, Thundercloud will go to them. Me talk when Red Man gets sober. He'll be able to make them return to their villages. And Jackie is safe. We got the Stevens Crooks hog tied. By Thunder, if you hadn't finished that bridge before you blowed it up, we'd all been trapped. Come, Tonto. Hey, they're heading for the horses. We gotta thank them after all they've done. Hello, hello. There goes the stranger. The engine with him. But that masked man, did you hear what he called his horse? Sheriff, that masked man was the Lone Ranger. Oh. Come along, Silver Old Boy. There's going to be trouble at the Cooley Ranch. We've got to hurry. I O Silver Away. <laughs> The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of The Lone Ranger, Incorporated. <laughs>